Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 7th, 2022. Well, doggone it, yesterday we thought, well, I was hoping we were going to get a little bit of a relief rally in the market, and then we ended up getting that PMI number that really, really disappointed um, the market and brought those bears back to work as we continue to see that global uh, PMI shrinking, um, creating some serious concerns about um, recession. So let's take a look at what we um, might get from these charts today and how we might approach the market in the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know, it, it's hard when you're doing videos like this, and, and I know people want me to say uh, things that are bullish, but I got to tell you, it's pretty difficult to get much out of these charts. Very, very bullish, other than we are severely overextended in the short term, which really kind of helps me lean toward some kind of a relief rally. But with the data that we have coming our way today, it's hard to know whether that's going to occur. If we take a look at our downtrend break, we obviously broke that downtrend pretty substantially. We found resistance in here. We do have the lower high. We are officially in downtrends here in the market. And as you can see, if I were to um, put a line right across this area right in here where we were looking for a little bit of price support well doggone it we gave up that price support and really kind of confirmed it yesterday as we continued to move down now we have futures trying to be just a little bit on the bullish side this morning but um, we have European markets down we had Asian markets mostly lower overnight so you have to kind of take that with a little bit of hope that we're going to get things going here today for a little bit of relief rally but um, i have to tell you our technical damage in these charts continues to worsen our eight exponential moving average crossing down through the 50 um, 34 ema will cross down through the 50 here soon so we're creating a technical level of price resistance right in here that could be substantial and you combine that with the price resistance that we see in the chart it may be a little bit difficult unless we get something pretty stellar in news to move us back to the upside if we take a look at our spy spy very similar situation um, overall those bears certainly are in control now we did hold on to this little price support in here we're just kind of clinging to it so perhaps that will give us a little bit of hope of that rally um, to the upside but you want to keep in mind we have significant upside resistance levels to be worried about we have a little bit right in here we have significant price resistance in here and our technical damage again continues to worsen eight crossing eight exponential crossing down through the 50 simple we have a 34 exponential closing in on that and we're just creating a fairly substantial zone of technical resistance here in that chart as well um, our QQQ you know part of the reason QQQ is struggling so much is those bond yields continue to push higher and it's creating a lot of pressure in the tech sector and we saw big tech continuing to sell off yesterday after they tried to pop just a little bit in the morning um, giving us a little bit of a head fake there but as you can see running into some substantial issues here um, um, starting to break down through um, some of these support levels obviously we're continuing in a downtrend not looking good and we have significant overhead resistance above here in the nasdaq with technicals in the chart um, showing us that resistance um, is growing right in this area as well um, if we can't get something moving here soon there is that real possibility that we give up some of these levels in here and really have to start 
wondering whether or not we're going to have new lows um, on the way here for the year. If we take a look at our um, take a look at our T2120 or excuse me IWM the Russell Russell has also joined uh, the party here breaking down below this uptrend break as you can see um, not looking so good but we are clinging to some price support here and hopefully we can catch a little bit of a bounce here eventually um, in that chart and IWM has held up a little bit stronger than some of the others but it really has caught up here recently and if you were to take a look at resistance levels above pretty substantial resistance levels above and once again we have those technical um, situations here creating um, extra layers of resistance in that chart we're really going to need something substantial to really get us moving and who knows maybe we can get that today with the, all of the fed speakers out there but i would kind of suggest maybe that might be a little bit of a of a reach let's take a look at our vix now what's interesting is our vix although we made new lows in the indexes notice that we really struggled with making a new high here in the vix so we still have um you know the market out there really a little bit in denial i think at this point um trying to show that we have no fear here in the market now part of the reason that might have been the case yesterday is as i mentioned um or to, i mentioned yesterday morning that um the possibility that a lot of traders just didn't make it back to work they extended their vacation so it is possible that fear didn't spike up all that much because we just didn't have the um the activity of traders um in the market but we'll watch this pretty closely here um in that chart um we're continuing to move in that upside trend if we were to get more selling um in the market we're going to have to watch some of these levels up here because that's where some major panic could really come into the market if that were the case if we can get some relief and we need it desperately we need some relief i think just to set up additional short positions we need that um, resting pullback in here on the vix and so far it's been kind of tough to get that going if we take a look at our t2122 or t2122 continues to signal a substantially oversold condition and we're continuing to linger down here um, <clears throat> we lingered up here for quite a while let's hope we don't have to linger down here quite that long before we get some kind of relief um, so watch that closely this does help me lean into that hope that we're going to get a bit of a relief rally on the day but there's some other data that may kind of fly in the face of that so we'll look at that in just a second our t2107 unfortunately guys continues to sink uh, about 24 percent of the stocks as all we have now holding above their 200 day moving average um not not a bullish situation and certainly um that that uncomfortable situation where we've broken that trend and now we're really starting to give up uh, this little price support in here as well so we need that relief rally we needed to come here sooner than later or we could really start um, moving heavily to the downside our t2108 same situation here where we've given up that upside trend we continue to sink here uh, 30 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average pretty difficult to build much of a bullish case for the market here except the fact that we're oversold and we should see some kind of a bounce but with the data that we have um, ahead of us that may be kind of a tough ask let's take a look at our t2101 um, t2101 whoops there we go t2101 continuing to push up showing the momentum um, is still with those bears um, at the moment and um, they continue to just aggressively um, push for uh, more potential 
downside here in the market. If we take a look at um, our volume, well, we did the last couple of days on that sell side volume. That volume is starting to perk up here. And unfortunately, um, that's not good for the bulls um, as we continue to see um, that bearish volume um, showing some strength where the bullish volume just couldn't get her done. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And that economic calendar, uh, what I was talking about here, uh, might be a tough ask to really get a whole lot going here today. First off, we got our mortgage applications in this morning and our mortgage applications continue to, to decline. That shouldn't be a major surpri surprise here in the market, just simply because um, uh, those rates continue to go up in, um, in those bond yields and pushing uh, mortgage rates higher. As you can see we're continuing to slide and decline. I think we really are in a situation here where the housing market is on very tenuous, um, uh, in a tenuous place where, where we could really um, see uh, housing start to diminish in value pretty quickly. So hopefully that doesn't occur, but as we continue to um, see, you know, these impacts of recession um, showing up, um, we would have to expect the consumers are feeling that pinch. Um, today we're going to have international trading goods and uh, fingers crossed, this has been a pretty good report for us here recently with um, international trade actually improving because of the strength of the dollar. So um, weak money is flowing toward the strong money um, in this circumstance, and that is benefiting the United States at the moment here on international trading goods. If we take a look at um, the rest of the day, uh, this is where it's gonna get a little bit challenging. We've got Fed speakers, a, a, a parade of Fed speakers today. Um, obviously, they have been pretty darn bearish, um, or hawkish, I should say. They should, haven't been bearish, they've been hawkish. Um, um, set, suggesting um, higher rates are on the way. So we'll want to watch that closely. And then we have the beige book this afternoon that certainly can be a market mover from time to time. And then as you plan forward, I wish I could say it's going to get easier, but it really doesn't because tomorrow morning we're going to get an ECB rate decision. They are expecting um, to raise, they're expected to raise rates by about 75 basis points. Um, over there and maybe even announce another 75 basis point in October. So uh, watch carefully for that. And then shortly after that, we're going to hear from Jerome Powell here tomorrow. Um, and um, the parade of Fed speakers will continue uh, throughout the rest of the week. So um, watch that closely. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar has a few more than we had yesterday on that calendar, but um, really no major notables that will just move the market a bunch. Um, so there are a few more notables today. If you wanna get the full list, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. We have um, NIO. Um, that's um, one of, been one of those um, speculative favorites um, um, in the market here, uh, well, for the last couple of years. Um, not looking so good here this morning, moving lower um, on their earnings report. We're going to hear from um, some retail. AEO will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. We're going to have AVAV reporting uh, today. Um, Casey's General Stores will be reporting. You'll want to watch those. Um, and we're going to hear from GameStop. So few, few reports out there, but again, not exactly those names that are going to really move the market here for today. So once again, if you want that full list, click the link below the title of the video. 
Let's take a look at some socks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find the videos to be useful, to help, helpful to your trading, if you could also do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment and share this video out on your social media feed. That helps an awful lot. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone one who does do that um, it's just um, it's just awesome so thank you very much um, apologize I didn't and I did read every one of the uh, comments yesterday I didn't answer them but I'll be back on that case today let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to need to do your own due diligence making sure that you're being very very careful it's really difficult right now in the market. The price action is very, very challenging. It's very difficult to want to short right now unless you're already short because you're chasing short. It's very difficult to get long because so far we just haven't seen any inspiration to the bulls to want to push um, back to the upside and test some resistance levels. So I think we're kind of in this little bit of a no man's land area here in the overall market and one of the things i i taught yesterday or talked about yesterday um in the right way options um session is that when our um, trend is predominantly short um, and all four indexes are predominantly short i want to be trading with the direction of the market i want to be looking primarily for short trades i know that's not what most people want to hear um, as a matter of fact, I need to rally back to be able to add additional short trades here in the market. So far, we're not getting that. But if you have that bullish idea in the market and think that we can really get going, there are some sectors of the market to be watching for that bullish side. First off, if we take a look at energy now, energy pulled back yesterday. But you have to admit, energy has been holding up pretty darn strongly here. Um, overall, considering the strength of the dollar, it's remarkable how well it is held up. And I think one of the reasons that we continue to see that is there's real concern around the world about energy supplies. And um, we're seeing um, um, news today that Europe um, just really has uh, almost 0% chance of avoiding recession because of the massive energy problem that they are running into for this winter. Um, so keep an eye on some of these energy stocks. The story right now supports these higher um, and we continue to see our supplies here in the United States decline as well. So watch that closely. I think if you wanna be bullish, I would be looking into that energy sector, whether it be oil and gas, um, oil sector stocks like, um, uh, maybe Devon or something like that, um, Exxon Mobil, um, or natural gas, taking a look at UNG that pulled back pretty substantially yesterday from these resistance highs. But I just can't imagine with the situation that we have going on over there in Europe that natural gas prices are actually going to fall dramatically. I think uh, commodity prices yesterday, by and large, were um, a result of what happened here in the dollar. And look at what we've got going on here in the pre-market on the dollar. Oh my gosh. Um, big spike up here and a pop and drop. We'll see where this ends up opening on the day. But US dollar strength is um, probably the only thing keeping um, those oil and gas numbers in check. Let's take a look at some other things. And I've been mentioning this um, over and over and over. Um, other alternative energies, I think, are definitely something for consideration. Um, and the reason I say that is, again, we have got some major energy problems around the world and they're growing. And we want to watch um, stocks like CCJ because we're starting to, folks are starting to say, hey, turn those machines back on. We need the energy. And um, uh, otherwise, it's going to be some very cold winters if we don't start figuring some of this out pretty quickly. 
um, and looking at CCJ here, um, we're holding some support levels in this chart. It tried to pop yesterday and pulled back, which really favors me. I'm glad um, because I'm long here at 22 and I'm short the 31. I could easily be called away on this trade. But I do think this, this elevation uh, quickly, how steeply it rallied, needs a little bit more rest before it goes higher. But I would keep an eye on that. I would keep an eye on URA. URA is another um, um, uranium ETF that you might want to keep an eye on. UUU. And there's probably other uranium plays out there that might be worth keeping an eye on because I do think energy is going to be um, an important subject um, as we slide into um, uh, probably a longer recession than we would like to see. Let's take a look at a couple others. Now, there are places out there in the market where wholesale and um, 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 discount sellers are doing pretty well. Take a look at BJ. BJ, very nice chart, holding up quite well, looking pretty good in this chart for that opportunity to the upside. So watch, watch that closely. Now, on the short side of things, guys, there are charts everywhere showing up in short patterns and shorting patterns all over the place. You don't have to look very hard to find them. One of the things that I would like to suggest is if we can get a rally back, you may want to be looking at some of the big techs um, for potential shorting. Um, take a look at now Apple's going to have its um, product reveal today that can create some volatility in the price action. But notice we have a head and shoulders top up here. Um, and we have failed um, at a lower high along um, this major resistance area in the chart. So any rally back up to resistance in this uh, chart, I would be watching for the potential of the next short trade. So keep an eye on some of those. I think you can look at a lot of the big techs for that kind of pattern um, just because I suspect as we move into next quarter, we're going to start hearing about a lot of downgrades and earnings misses coming our way. So watch that closely. I think these valuations have to come in. I hate to sound that way. I really do. I, don't shoot the messenger. It's what's going on in the market. Um, I think it's important. I, 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 um, I don't sugarcoat things. I say things just exactly as I see them here in the market. Um, you can choose to agree with it or disagree with it, but I think we have problems ahead and we should be a little bit careful and cautious and maybe be leaning more to the short side of the market than the long side. Um, I just, I, I don't want to chase the short side though. I think we need a relief rally before we can get there. So watch, watch closely and be very, very careful. Um, um, I think, um, we're at that point where we could get that ugly, ugly selling coming into the market and potentially even a capitulation um, event in the market, um, particularly if we can get a rally back. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your training. Thanks so much for being here, and um, I wish you all the best. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.